Hello. Hello, hello. How's, How's it going? going, Pilot? I'm doing well. And you? Good. I'm excited to talk about the potentials of Discord we've got in session two um, and where we um, take reclaim a little bit into our EdTech Discord, but then also what you could do with whatever server you possibly want to set up on your end if you want to do, do that sort of thing. So yeah. Um, yeah, I'm really excited for that. But I do want to ask you, Pilot, what kind of servers are you in and how long have you been on Discord itself? I've been on Discord, I mean, technically speaking, since like 2016, because my friend was like, no, you have to, you have to get on this platform. It's going to be really good. I was like, okay, I don't know anyone on here, but you. Mm -hmm. And so then I didn't really do anything with it for a long time. Um, and then I think sort of the big thing that I use Discord for right now is uh been a couple of years when we went all remote in spring of 2020 mm -hmm. i was um the president for a club at my college that hosted weekly in-person sort of tv movie sci-fi and fantasy nights um and so we would all get together on Friday night and we would have picked six shows and we would watch one episode from each show. And it was just really nice to have like a, a movie night with a pretty decent number of people um, that, you know, Friday night fun with your friends, you go get some chicken tenders from the student center, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, and one of the big priorities was making sure that we could keep sort of some semblance of that going because it was remarkably easy to make remote. You can do movie nights remotely over Zoom mm -hmm. and over Discord very easily. So setting up a Discord server for everybody to join and keep contact and run event announcements through there. Um, and then sort of as time has gone on, I graduated, my friends have graduated. So we sort of turned that server over to be this is for the people who are currently at Carleton. And then mm -hmm. we have a, a separate server that does essentially the same thing, but it's for alumni. Um, yeah. Uh, and so we host movie nights through Discord there. We do game nights sometimes. Um, general, look at I found this uh, funny cat picture. Um, things like that. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm kind of in that same boat where movie nights started over over the pandemic, um, where we just made the server and started sharing screens and hit play at the same time sort of deal. Um, I don't remember the last time I was in, or like when I was in Discord the first time, like when I signed up. Um, but I really got into Discord when Among Us became really big as a game back in like the summer of 2020 or 2021. Um, and that, 20, I think, yeah. Yeah. So a lot of my friends and I would just jump on a, a Discord voice call and just play Among Us together for hours and hours. It was really fun. Um, and it's actually the main point of communication that my fiance and I have, have together. We don't like we have separate um he has an android i have an i have an iphone so we're on separate platforms completely so we found discord is like the easiest most consistent one for us to communicate back and forth with so if i need like like him to pick something up at the store when he's at the office i'll be like hey like i'm on discord i'm not like messaging him or texting him so it's it's kind of funny how much it's like evolved in the last couple of years to be like main point yeah. of conversation or main point of communication and not only that, but like with the reclaimed Discord server has been really cool. Um, I'm also in a statewide Discord server for Virginia. It does not have everybody in it, but it's it's a good community um, of people around my age. So that's been really fun to kind of get to know people like in my area or um, even across the state too. So it's been pretty fun. It's really um, cool. Maybe I should join one of those. Yeah, it, it, it's amazing to see like how many servers you can can be in like um some of the streamers that i follow too like they each have their own discord server and like the communication there's also like some arts and crafts ones i'm in mm -hmm. too it's crazy but um you, there is tons and tons of options with this so um we're kind of going to talk through um the different types of servers you can create or 
kind of start thinking through on your ends, like what what is something that you can maybe use to incorporate in your Discord server. Um, we're going to go through some essentials, essential bots on like what you need, to, what you want to set up when you're initially creating your server to help with role management and user management to keep your server safe online. And then again, we'll, we'll talk through some of the different events and like how you can kind of set those up and even some platforms you can use Discord voice on. Um, yeah. as well and then into some server organization with like how you want to organize your channels and stuff and we'll kind of take a peek at the um, discord server for reclaim hosting the tech one as yeah. well so we can kind of go through through all of those yeah. so and Jim um, and lauren have probably touched on this a little bit thinking about specifically the thought that's gone into some of the servers that reclaim has had over the years but we want to go into that and then also expand that to be like you talking about, you know, there's lots of other things you, as you and I have shown that Discord can do a lot of stuff. It's very flexible. So, yeah, absolutely. That's a good point. We can kind of go into um, how Reclaim uses that and then like some of the bots to like then move into the other ones that you can use mm -hmm. um, on that side. So I've got my screen shared here with just the uh, um, the Reclaim Hosting EdTech server. You can see we've got an, the announcements channel where Taylor's announcing all of the, the live streams, especially with the Mastodon and Reclaim Cloud. Um, and some general announcements, like we're hiring at Reclaim and mm -hmm. um, Reclaim Open, which is coming in June, which is all super fun. Um, and then just some more general, um, like the guidelines and any help channels you might have. This is under information. So when you're creating your channel, you can set these different categories and then organize the, cat the channels into the categories themselves to help the flow of your chan of your server um, start you kind of can dictate like how how you want users to be introduced into this into the server and all of that sort of sort of fun stuff so um, you can see the guidelines um, here which every server should set up when they're creating the new one because that really helps kind of yeah. set the tone and the mood for the server itself. Um, also gives you a reason to kind of just maintain, um, I don't know, how, I don't know how to say it, but um, just make sure that everybody is behaving correctly within the server on, on that side. It, it gives um, a frame of reference. It, it, mean, yeah. it means you're not guessing, which is nice. Yeah, exactly. So um, Lauren did a wonderful job with this guidelines um, section. So we've got all of those sort of helpful things. And then we've got our introductions. Um, where we can introduce any new um, or the any new member has an option to introduce themselves to um, say hello or um, give a little bio about themselves. Um, so you'll see us periodically in here just saying hello, um, welcome, and all of that stuff. So we can see like a an in, um, intro entry point for the for the user who's accepted the terms of service and all of that stuff, they'll get a little message here saying, hello, welcome. And then we can kind of continue the conversation. Oh, um, yeah, we wanted to have like a general discussion section for um, some topics that may be ongoing conversations because we do have specific event channels for like our community chats and even for this Discord community um, conversations. So those can tend to be um, specific topics. So we wanted to have that general idea so that if anybody had like a like a conversation they wanted to have that didn't fall into any of our events we could keep the conversation going um and keep the the discord server and community going mm -hmm. um, outside of just our events so we've got like our free form which is kind of like the water cooler channel literally anybody can talk about what they what they want within um the ed tech worlds and their community itself um building the ship is kind of interesting um we kind of thought that this would be cool to have suggestions on the server um and it's kind of turned into like how people um are incorporating their to the tools that they've seen with that tech into their their curriculum too so um the conversation um here with like with like ed Beck and the mailchimp yeah um and um yeah so it's, that's been pretty cool and like even ghost um conversations and threads there yeah just talking um, about like projects that are underway and mm -hmm. what 
we're thinking, what other people are thinking as they make the choices that might have to change later, but you know. Yeah, absolutely. We also um, utilize RSS feeds and different bots to pull in um, blog posts. Um, Taylor has a way like you, you can subscribe to the RSS feed and then your blog posts can be pulled into the, the, um, I think, I the think discord you server. Your blogs RS I think there's a specific feed that you submit your blogs RSS feed to. Mm -hmm. And then that feed pulls from everybody and then pushes it here. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, with a with a specific Discord bot, we pull in um, our tweets from mm -hmm. um, Twitter and even. Um, I wonder if we can even get away from Mastodon to set up any pull in here now that Mastodon's more popular. Um, Mastodon definitely has one for Slack, at least. I'd be surprised mm -hmm. if there isn't, if, at least in development, something for for, for, Discord. for Discord. That would that would be really cool though. One one day, so I'm gonna put mm -hmm. that in the chat. See if we can find something um, for Mastodon if we want to. Um, we also pull in our community forums. Um, yes. Yeah. So if anybody has. Um, or is posting questions on our forums itself. Um, we put the the posts come into the Discord for everybody to see. So mm -hmm. then that way um, you can we can on top kind of, of yeah exactly um, conversations are happening. Yeah. So and then we've got our specific events um, mm -hmm. on that side. So we've got our community chats. Um, we most recently just had domains two hundred one happen. So we had this channel, this channel was very lively. That was last week, uh, the week before, which is crazy mm -hmm. um, to think about. And then um, we had our OBS, um, uh, shoot, the OBS Flex was a uh, couple of flex course a couple of weeks ago. It, it, we're recording this on a Monday and my Monday vibes are happening. It's, it's <laughs> morning too. It's Monday not just morning. Monday. <laughs> yes. Um, so we've got all of those. We do keep these open for folks. So if the conversation continues, um, they can happen in the events like the Gravity Forms one we thought we had set up um, still mm -hmm. going, um, which is super cool. Um, we also had the Domains Pen Pals um, section that was really helpful because the, the conversation split off into these different categories um, surrounding mm -hmm. like Domain of One Zone or WordPress multi-site. So we, we set up its own category there. Um, and then the different voice channels we've got, um, as well, um, for and any, then, like, voice, voice categories. Um, and then a lot of times the end user won't see this, um, but we've got our meta secret. section, which behind is great for the admins. Scenes. Yeah, behind the scenes. Um, so we have this all set up for specific reclaim only sections. So we've got just like little, little reminders of, um, what we need to do for the 201 session, like, um, Amanda was testing how like timestamps and stuff like that. So we can kind of use mm -hmm. that as a test space for, for us that doesn't actually notify the user that we sent a message, which is really cool. Yeah. Um, and then we can even see like Lauren um, was working on the link for the um, Reclaim open announcement and all of that stuff. And then we get, I'll do a quick peek in the action log um, as a bot we'll kind of talk about um, and oh, the E6. Yeah, so we um, use this to kind of give a feed of like who joins the server and accepted the the rules and all of that that good stuff. So we've got those, and then if we were hosting any events that required more than one voice channel, we've got those set up um, that we can shift around into um, the specific events accordingly. Um, it's always good to have more than one um, voice channel if you need to, and Discord defaults to creating one text channel and one default channel when you create a new server. So you'll always yeah. you'll always have one. Um, you can always create more if you need to um, on that side. Um, anything in here you wanted to look up, Violet? I think this just about covers things. I'm trying to mm -hmm. think if there's anything in particular particular i mean this this really covers sort of what we were thinking in regards to the reclaim edtech discord and how what we thought would be needed what we thought would be useful what has sort of become useful as time has gone on um mm -hmm. but uh just uh, as the main thing is that uh, we we did pattern it 
I say we. Um, I, I, I played enthusiastic moral support to the people who built mm -hmm. this. Um, on uh, Disc Reclaim's been using Discord for events for several years now. Um, and again, this is something that Jim and Lauren will talk about, have talked about. Time is a little fuzzy because we're recording this. But um, <laughs> that this is patterned on work that Reclaim has done before. And I don't think, to the best of my knowledge, that this is built using a specific template. But there are templates that you can use if mm -hmm. you have an idea of something and you want to sort of build off of that. Um, if, you, yeah. if, if you need a jumping off point or basically you said, yeah, they start you off with a, one text channel, one voice channel, maybe maybe two. They start yeah. you off with, and, but if you don't want to start off with just one or two, that's what the templates are for. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so I kind of wanted to go through and show what templates look like um, on Discords with an S dot com. Um, that's a really cool resource to use um, if you're starting out working through getting a server set up for whatever you want to do um, on that side. So I went ahead and created my own server. Um, it's M Fiero 95 server on um, here, and it's got the one general text channel and then the one general voice channel. Um, I am also going to, you can go through these particular um, suggestions that Discord gives you about like sending your first message, inviting friends to a server and that sort of thing. But I want the server to be a little bit more robust before I invite people. Um, so I am going to stop sharing my screen for just one second and I'm going to share Chrome so we can look at a Discord template um, on Discords. Let me get that added back to our screen. Um, and discords.com has a ton of sort of templates um, that you can use to create any kind of Discord server you want. Um, you can do a gaming one specific to say like Fortnite or um, Sons of the Forest or um, whatever game you wanna create. Dungeons and Dragons, literally anything. You can set yep. up a server for that. Um, it's helpful for like voice, voice chat or anything like that. You can even go into coding. Like if you are like looking at Node.js or Python coding, you can find a server or create one yourself. Um, for, for those, literally any topic you can think of, there's a Discord server for it, which is really cool um, to see on that side. So I just found this kind of cute, Easter template because Easter is coming up this weekend so it was it was kind of cool to see so I wanted to create a template or see if I could create a server for this um, using a template um, here so what I'm going to do is um, set this up on an existing server and then I'm going to invite the bot it's going to like you're not going to see this it's just going to ask you to um, go from there let me see okay cool so, um, Discords uses a bot that lets you import content. So, I have to give permission to my server to let the bot go, th um, go through and import all of the channels. So, if I go to continue, I'm just going to authorize all roles and then confirm I'm a human. Let that go through. And then it authorized everything. So, now I'm going to share my discord window mm -hmm. and then we can see a new message that template is here the template bot has arrived um so i'm going to thanks pilot adding that back into no um that i've got that set up I'm going to No, I actually don't know. We're, we're troubleshooting on the fly. I thought this would just import everything, but we are going to... Um, Live demo. Yeah, we're going to use... We're going to do use... Use templates. And then I'm going to grab the code for the server, for the template name. Mm-hmm. We get that all going. 
All right. Yeah, sorry about this. We're good, we're good. Mm -hmm. Let's see if this works. Uh, oh, and then, yeah, you can right. import. Channels. Uh, see if that works. Okay, let's continue. Mm -hmm. Continue. Whoa. Uh-oh. There we oh, go. Just taking a second to populate. Yeah, you can just see all of these populate, which is super cool. And you know what the greatest thing in the world is? Live demo on a recording and everything just goes dark. Yeah. <laughs> like gave me a scare for a second. I was like, oh my goodness. What have we done? Yeah. I, I mean, there's nothing in the server anyway, so it wasn't anything important. That's but true. But still kind of scary. But mm -hmm. this is actually really cool to see like everything kind of pull through. Yeah. Um, and I like how they used emojis um, to yeah. organize the account, the, the channels and all of that sort of stuff. So, yeah, um, I find I find emojis in channel names to be just very charming. Yeah. It's oh. super cool. Mm -hmm. OK, I think we're good. That's all finished. Um, and you can see like some people have like different channel types for even their voice channels. So mm -hmm. like if someone wanted to um keep a voice on you can just kind of go um away from keyboard and stay in stay in a voice channel if you wanted to um and all of that so this gives you a good base to work through setting up any rules getting announcements um stars um or boosting the server so the like the paid version of discord is really interesting and that's definitely for another conversation um mm -hmm. all the cool features that you can work through on this um so the template side is really like I'm I'm actually blown away by how how cool this actually this was and how easy yeah. it was um, to grab the ID from there. Yeah, and how um, you can definitely just say you know what I don't need so the I guess that's quote of the day Q O T D I'm not sure what that is question of the day question of the day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there's it, so we can kind of move into the bots at this point too. Like mm -hmm. there's a there's a specific bot. Um, I particularly use it in the that Virginia server I was talking about. Mm -hmm. um, but the the community puts in a whole bunch of questions. Um, they can submit questions to kind of go through. It's kind of like the the DS106 daily create kind of bank where people have submitted oh. ideas for that. Mm -hmm. And so every day um, we get a message about like 9 a.m. our time to. Um, say hey here's the question like today was like if you had a candle that smelled like anything in the world what would you want like what kind of candle would you want to smell and so it's been kind of kind of interesting to see that conversation kind of take part like i was like i would really like a campfire smelling <laughs> candle or s'mores would be really cool like now that it's now we're moving into summer so mm -hmm. so the, the question of the day is really cool um but all of these channels are kind of um geared towards a bot called Carl. Um, Carl bot, that is a really good tool to have set up on your server itself for user management. Um, even um, onboarding for user roles and all of that good stuff. Um, mm -hmm. You And it's, it's really self-serving too, where you can set up specific rules um, for folks to agree to when they um, sign on and, and agree to like any rules or terms of service you have set up, um, they can then go in and read through different roles um, and react to those with an emoji to assign them on there. And so you could even do this like for your user pronouns, your um, gaming. Um, so like if you were, um, I'm going to use the Fortnite category for for the example but like if you were someone playing to um play through a round of trios so with two other people so a three-person group um you can um use an emoji to assign yourself to the trios role and then whenever you're ready to play you can just like message the trios channel or something like that like you okay. can have different setups where you can um give people different permissions to different channels. So like if someone wanted to play duos with one other person instead of trios, they wouldn't see the trios channel. They would assign themselves the duos role. And then on that side, like it, it can kind of help with um, 
that the segment the segments on that side um for the different channels so carlbot is like very very popular within the discord community of getting all of that set up um so it's not uncommon to see that across multiple servers um yeah. from here um, it also does a lot of auto moderation. So like if someone does violate your terms of service or is being kind of rude or not the vibe that you wanted within the community itself, um, you can warn them and then ultimately use them to, to ban um, from the server if needed um, on that side. So um, you can see kind of in the screenshot of like a warning within Carlbot two um and then they also have the the permissions um where you can kind of get granular with it and like you can kind of you can create as many roles as you want or specific specific permissions as well yeah um, my i i've i've definitely seen carlbot in some of the servers that i've been in and that i've been in um and i wasn't I was just participating, so I actually don't know how much work Carl Bot was doing behind the scenes, but it's always crazy to me how much some of these bots are just really capable of. Um, my experience is more with YAGPDB, which is like YAML. It's yet another general purpose Discord bot, which is mm. very silly. Um, but YAGPDB can do some of the auto roll things that Carl mm. Bot do um and it also has some fun like i think carlbot has like a little magic eight ball figure uh feature or something like that um that they're just they do so many different things and it's crazy and very fun uh, yeah absolutely I, um, love the little, I love that he's a little turtle I really he's like a little him. turtle throughout it too yeah um and then there's also the little um community building with the stars that'll like mm -hmm. highlight star emojis like you can um react to a message like if everybody likes it or mm -hmm. um as a like or something like that and then carl will um promote starboard. it if yes yeah, as, as a starboard which is kind of cool um on that side yeah mm -hmm. so carl bot is definitely um a good option um you can use stuff for reminders too. So like, if, <laughs> like a reminder that if there's like a 15 minute for like, um, like a, something's an happening event coming up. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So you can like des designate those. That's super cool. Um, we use um, MEE6 um, throughout Discord for ours. Um, that is the message you saw in like the action log section that shows when the user joins the server and all of that stuff so that's really helpful for um administrator roles because that does al also let you send like a welcome message to the user um when they join or um set up a command for whatever whatever they need um on that side so you can really customize a ton with this which is super cool um, yeah. I also think ME6 also lets us use the roles in particular, so we can set, like, if this is a specific domain of one's own side of things, mm -hmm. um, there. So we've got that. Um, also, here's a little glimpse at the YAG PDB um, bot website. Um, I'll go through some of the features. Um, again, they can self-assign the roles, um, at, like, um, Carl bot could, um, and yeah, he's not showing on your screen. You're still, oh, let me, six. yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. Um, I was sharing different tabs. Mm -hmm. Um, so the self assignable roles, um, auto mods, commands, and all of that good stuff, and then even cat facts too, which is, I think that's pretty cool. Like, the cat some... facts one is real fun, and it's also a really good way to derail a conversation very fast. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, yeah, like even I use um, emojis in particular to like kind of do that too. So you mm -hmm. can have like different custom ones, which is super fun to do um, on that side of Discord. So we can do, um, I can give us a little um, view of what that looks like in our Discord because we didn't actually go through that, but that would be really interesting. Yeah. To show, so we've got a couple of 
Um, custom emojis. Let me click into mine. I've got my Discord channels um, servers organized into like work and then fun stuff. So that's really, really cool if you wanted to like move your server in so I can move this into Reclaim um, or leave this out if I wanted to um, on that one. But you can also create your own emojis back to that sort of conversation so you can see like what's used um, on our server. So I've got um, a plus one, like if you wanted to vote up someone's post or comment, um, we use the live one a ton for when we premiere um, our different flex courses and recordings and all of that. We've got a reclaim cloud, um, the shake fist baby. Um, that's a running, running meme within reclaim. And then of course our reclaim logo. Um, it's always super fun. And if I scroll through, you can see some more. Um, we've got a terminal, um, be kind, reclaim, um, sticker. Panel. Also, yeah, C panel, um, H H um, HTML. HTML um, our That's OG reclaim logo. The triangle um, one's peer tube. And peer tube too. Yeah, we've got a ton. And even our Streamyard, um, oh, yeah. which is what we're recording in. Uh, Streamyard mm -hmm. is our logo. Um, and we've got a ton of different ones for different servers that we're in. Um, so, and if you're in, if you're using Nitro, you can use um, the custom emojis from different people in any server across yeah. Discord, which is kind of cool. Um, not not many people know that um, there. So, we've got all of those. I know people uh, who have Nitro who have a server that is literally just them. It's only theirs. So that they can load up on custom emojis and use them wherever they want without oh, having that's to cool. get them uploaded to the communities that they're in, which is very funny to me. Yeah, that's really funny. Yeah, and Discord even sends out like fruit packs of free emojis sometimes, like um, around their anniversary or whenever they do their like spring events or fall yeah. events. Um, they had one over Christmas this year that was like a little penguin in an ice cube and it was cute. Oh, um, <laughs> so I was using that for a little while um, there. So you can even take your community a little bit further by making those little little um, emojis there um, on that side. Um, so once you have your server set up, um, what do we do? We can hold events and stuff like that. Or, or did you have a, more bots to talk through, Pilot, actually? Um, oh, one second. Pilot, you are on. I'm muted. I'm thoroughly muted. Yeah. I'm just monologuing to myself for 30 seconds. That's great. It's okay. Um, uh, no, the only thing I was going to say was just that um, there's so many bots. We've just gotten into a couple of like the really powerful overarching ones, but there's a lot that can do a lot of really specific things. Um, and we can put, uh, we've had banners. We can put some links in the chat as well. Um, mm -hmm. but there's a whole world out there, basically. Yeah, absolutely. And let us know if you guys have any that you, any Discord servers that you've been using um, and like what kind of fun stuff that they've they've done that's kind of stood out to you mm -hmm. um, there. Because it's always, always really cool to see and talk through um, what everybody does um, on that side. Yeah. Yeah. So um, once you have your server set up, um, there's, you just let the conversation go at that point, um, and, mm -hmm. and invite your friends and, um, or other people in the community that you're working with, with like, like a knitting, um, server or something like that, and just kind of see where it goes. But then you can also hold your own events, like Pilot, you were talking about the movies with your, yeah. with your college friends. Um, that is super fun to do. Um, Discord also, um, introduced what they call activities, um, and you can play games with your friends on Discord servers, which is super, super fun. Totally um, my style. Yeah. So you could do um, a, one of the most popular ones that I think everybody has played um, who does like their own virtual thing, virtual game night is called Gartic Phone. Gartic Phone. Um, nice. Yeah, that's Huge. so fun. Um, you draw um, draw out um, what the what the phrase is. Mm -hmm. um, and have everybody kind of guess. Um, it's kind of like um, vi visual telephone, um, yeah. which is super cool. Um, um, it's, it's just really, really, and it gets really silly really fast. It's very fun. Yeah, 
Absolutely. Um, I also like equate it to Telestrations, too. Um, mm -hmm. If you wanted to do that, that's really fun um, for in-person game nights. Um, you can also do card games with, with folks, too. A lot of people host, like, poker nights. Oh, yeah. And all of that. Um, and then there's, like, a watch party um, aspect where one person is hosting the movie and then everybody else can watch at the same time. So they're, you're no longer, like, timing, clicking play mm -hmm. between each other um, on the other end of the, the desktop um, between the screens and all of that, which is super fun. Yeah. Um, there. So we've got those. You can even play them on mobile too, which is really interesting. Like most most of these we've talked about, you can do like on the on um, desktop, but like Discord itself is really mobile. Yeah. So most of the time, I'm talking to uh, my fiance or the just like the other groups that I'm in on my phone. Like I'm not really even using the the desktop app um, yeah. unless I'm sitting in front of my computer. Yeah, um, I, I, work. I don't usually do events on mobile just because. I think, I don't know, it, 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 the screen is so much smaller, it feels harder to participate, but just the ability to ha Discord on mobile is just really nice. It's a good interface and it's really convenient. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I am also just totally blown away by the fact that like, even if I'm not personally using that fe functionality, the fact that you can is mm -hmm. wild. And yeah, cool. absolutely. Yeah, that's really, really cool. Um, for sure. So we've done that with um, our previous Reclaim events where we've um, done like a speaker sort of scenario where we've mm -hmm. had like panels um, and even just general voice chats with um, within our Discord server for those um, the voice chats um, and streaming sort of scenarios where people can share their slides and stuff like that which is which is really fun um and to even get into the more nitty-gritty you can use um the roles that you've created within your server mm -hmm. to allow people to rsvp yes and then the using like the carl bot or the yet another discord bot um that pilot was talking about um to uh, alert those specific roles to yeah. or the those who are SVP at using roles um, without using an everyone ping to the whole server. Um, that was so. really that was really big for just making that was the ability to say like, hey, if you want to get notified when we're doing a movie night or a game night, different things, react to this. YAG PDB will give you a role. And then when it's movie night, we will ping people who want to be told that it's movie night. That's it. If you don't, if you just want to be here for the memes, if you just want to be here for game night, then you're not going to get hit with the ad everybody ping because you specifically told us what you wanted to do. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And the everyone ping is really helpful for like server wide announcements, but it can get really like, like I've seen it go downhill where like people start using the everyone tag, like every message and yeah. it's not fun. So the everyone ping is like easy to use. Um, I, think I would recommend fairly. I think there might be a way to lock it down so that only people with a particular role permissions can use mm -hmm. the at everyone ping, which I've not ever had to do. And I sincerely hope I never have to, but I can imagine in, because some discords get just really, really big. Yeah. I can imagine just doing it as a precautionary measure, honestly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, yeah, some of the gaming ones that I'm in are like thousands of members, which is crazy. Mm -hmm. um, crazy, crazy. Um, cool. So we've got those movie nights games to play. Um, and then Discord's also been branching out into using different platforms for their voice chat. So if you're working, if you're playing on like a PlayStation or an Xbox and you're playing a game, but you want to talk to friends, you can even use Discord to talk to them from the PlayStation. You don't have to sign into Discord from your phone and like join in on the voice chat. Um, mm -hmm. I have never personally worked on that yet or used that yet just because it's so new. But mm -hmm. from what I've heard, it's like really, really fun. Um, to be able to like continue using Discord across platforms. That sounds really nice. I also have not done that. I don't have a console, um, so mm -hmm. that I wouldn't be able to uh, hook that up. But I know that I have friends who are... I think that the ability to be 
streaming, probably they can stream, right? If Discord's doing that, offered on that platform as well. Yeah, I think you can, um, but I'm not sure where it is yet on that. Um, okay. It could be still in, in beta mm -hmm. um, on that side, but um, definitely the voice channel yeah. or voice chat stuff. Mm -hmm. But I think, yeah, the, just the ability to hook in while you're on your console is going to be really big. People are going to yeah, like that. For sure. Um, awesome. So we've got um, those two. Um, yeah, just chicken um server organization we kind of went through all of that with the mm -hmm. um reclaim one um we've got the import side yeah um discord actually has some specific features that i keep going well i don't use this and it's because my use case is like here's a, a group of like 30 people from college you don't mm -hmm. need all the bells and whistles but uh, Discord actually has some stuff that Reclaim makes good use of for the events organization mm -hmm. and hosting um, that in our EdTech Discord, we have sort of, um, I, I guess, event announcements. They're little, they're, there's a little channel that's just for the events and it's each one has its own sort of little window with the description and the time and you can RSVP. And so it's, you can put up a little banner. Um, and, and so it's very nice. It's very stylish it's very slick and it's probably a lot more informative than uh the way that we tend to run things but yes exactly um so yeah so in fact you can we've time stamped ourselves you can see when uh yeah when we're recording yeah so. absolutely yeah so when when this premieres session one of building community with a discord with discord has already premiered um on that side um but you can even just see kind of like the the description of the event. You can click in and it'll show like more more detailed information. And then you can um, say that you're interested. you're interested to get notifications on the event itself. Mm -hmm. um, even um, share the link um, to the event if you want to. Yeah. Um, and then see who's interested and all of that fun stuff um, there. You can even add it to your own calendar if you wanted to. Oh. Um, you can export oh my God. calendars or like what? download to like um, to um, Google uh, Apple Calendar or whatever what? you want to do. Okay, That's super cool. And then um, even sh see where the the location is. Mm -hmm. um, so since most of ours are um, virtual events, we just link to the link of the the website itself mm -hmm. and even just the watch watch link. So um, that's super cool. Yeah, and I believe you can also make it so that particular events are for people with particular roles. So in that way, mm -hmm. um, I mean, I suppose you could say, you know, all movie nights are visible to everybody, but we'll only ping you if you have the movie night role. But you could also say, yeah, you won't even see the event announcements if you don't grab yeah. that role because, you know, you didn't want it. So, yeah, exactly. Um, on, the, on that side. So that's pretty cool. Um, within the guidelines, we even use pronoun picker. That's, that's a good one too. That kind of shows like this, this auto assign role, um, where you can pick whichever, whichever you would like there. Oh, cool. Well, anything else you wanted to touch on pilot? I'm, I was reaching the end of my, um, stream. Yeah, list. I think that just about covers the whole the whole of it. I, I guess the big thing to emphasize is that we've sort of touched on the, and, and you've said this multiple times, so it's not anything new, but just we've touched on like, here are the um, Me6 and Carlbot and Yag PDB. Here are some sort of very uh, heavy lifting technical stuff. Uh, here are the templates that they, there are lots of different types. There are lots of different types of bots and templates. Um, so just the biggest thing to keep in mind is that you can use Discord for really anything. Um, so there's, mm -hmm. um, and, and I think we've done a pretty good job. You're talking about um, just that sort of fun social state of Virginia, the question of the day type thing we've done a pretty good job showcasing several different angles. Um, there's more, 
there's even more angles. If there's a hobby that you're, you're interested in, there's definitely a discord for it. It's, there's just a sh shocking amount of flexibility going on. Um, mm -hmm. Particularly with all of the bots and the templates, because people keep extending the platform um, to make it easier to do and bring in that functionality that they need. So yeah, absolutely. So whether you're like like the hobbies, even like um, class level, like if you were just wanted to set up a Discord server for your class, like for your, the specific semester you're teaching, um, yeah, or even just to kind of keep track of like. Like if you're a faculty advisor for students, like you can even set up a Discord for your students too. Um, and Discord makes it really easy to get started. So if you're unsure of where to go, um, literally just create the server and then the Discord bots will help you um, get started creating channels, um, doing a lot of the, the behind the scenes administrator work for that with, is really helpful. Um, to assign the rules to everybody and then like that organization. And then once you have the organization, you can use those fun stuff like the question of the day. Um, cat the facts. Star, yeah, cat facts, the stars to kind it's, of just create the community that you want to build um, from there. Yeah, Starboard is yeah. really fun. Starboard is like, mm -hmm. I think the the documentation talks about it like, like your mom pinning your artwork on the fridge. Um, yeah, that, oh, that's really cool. Yeah, yeah. People, people just react to a particular message with a star and then Carl Bot goes, all right, let's put it on the starboard. We're going to just sort of show it off in this particular channel. It's, yeah. it's really, it's just really fun. Yeah, so we've found Discord's been really helpful within our community too, within the tech sphere. So mm -hmm. it, it provides like a good space for everybody to, to continue um, communicating and like even just bounce ideas off each other. So um, hopefully this this session gives you some good ideas on how to start creating your own community on Discord. Mm -hmm. And um, as we continue on throughout the month too, I think that this this is really cool that we're able to even like turn a flex course into talking about what we how we manage our flex course like through Discord yeah. and all of that sort of stuff. So meta flex course. Yeah, the meta the meta mm -hmm. flex flex course. So. Awesome. Well, thank you, Pilot. I'm glad we got to talk about all of this and yeah. um, keep the conversation going and we'll um, add resources and let us know if you have any questions about specific things, but um, we will catch you all in the next session. Be in Discord. Bye-bye. See ya.